This is Severe MMA, and we're fortunate enough to be joined by Andre Winter, just a few days out from your main event fight at Bama against Colin the Freak Show Fletcher. But uh, before we talk about that fight, you're on a bit of a run uh, in, in your MMA fights. You're undefeated in the last five, four wins on the trot, yeah. and, and a draw. First thing I want to talk about is the Aon tournament. Okay. Yeah, the, the tournament format is quite old school. Yeah. <laughs> How did you, how, you know, how did you approach going in for three fights as opposed to one? Because for the most part of your career now, it's been training for the single yeah. fight. What did you have to do different? Um, there wasn't that much I had to do different. I just trained as normal, and um, for me, it's always been more of a mental thing than a physical thing. So I was a lot more mentally switched on for that tournament, and I think, um, I, like I said, I was just very focused, and I, I think that's what the big difference in me was. You also fought smart fights in that tournament. Uh, again, can can we can we expect? Can, can we expect that, that kind of uh, cautious is the wrong word, but that professional approach in your uh, you know in your fight with Colin? Definitely. Um, you know, I've got a good corner team, and I'm going to listen to them. Um, they see things that I can't see. You know, what I mean, they train with me all the time. They know the things that I do well, the things that I need to watch out for. So I just listen to them, and I'm just going to. Um, Go out there, work, and um, let them be my eyes for it. The, the, the last fight, uh, it was uh, about four weeks ago, and, and it, it, it was a draw, which is fairly rare in MMA. Did, yeah. uh, you know, how, how did you feel about that fight, and, and what do you want to improve upon in, in your performance from there? Um, it was a very frustrating fight, um, simply because um, I felt as though my opponent came out to a stall and kind of just drag out the fight rather than come to look to win the fight. Um, you know, I was there to fight, I tried to fight. Um, I've said that, I was a little disappointed in myself because I've been in this game for a long time now and I have the skills and the tools to negate that kind of stalling fight and I didn't do it as much as I, I should have, so I have a, uh, my myself to blame as well but um it was a very frustrating fight and and i hate being a part of those fights you know what i mean it's, it's like a stain on it's like yeah. a stain on your name so I, I really don't like being a part of those kind of fights then does that give you a bit more does that give you a, a bit more fire in the belly for this fight coming up with fletcher to make sure that it doesn't go that way we know you're not a lay in prayer and colin tends not to but how do you feel that that fight's going to be different um, no, nah, I definitely think it would be um, a more exciting fight. Um, I don't think um, Colin will try and um, lay in prey. I, I, you know, I mean, he, he's a good kickboxer. He's got a good jiu-jitsu. He's well-rounded. So, um, and he, he, his last few fights have been really exciting. His fight with Mansoor was good. Um, he's won after that. I can't remember the guy he fought, but I, yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, that was a good fight. You know, he, he, Tim Newman. That was a good fight. You know, I mean, he, he looked pretty good. Um, but I don't need any mo motivation from my post-fight. Um, um, to fight Colin, you know, he's got that um, win over me in a K1 bout and I look to rectify that. You, 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 yeah, you have, you've got a pass with him, the, the, the K1 bout, he, he won a decision. I've, I didn't see the fight, but I've, I've heard it was <laughs> what are your views on it uh, my views on it I, I don't know I've not I've not watched the fight back um, I thought that um, he won the fight because he stayed more focused in what he was trying to achieve and I kind of lost focus at times it was like um, I was doing the right things and then a couple of times I'd kind of like drop off a bit like lose lose concentration let a little bit of the round slip away then I get back to work but it wasn't consistent enough I mean I thought I did a, the more hurtful work in the fight and um, I was one who looked like more, more like stopping the fight whereas Colin he probably did the more consistent work throughout the fight I don't got no any qualms with the decision I mean I'd have to watch it again <laughs> but I, I, as far as I can remember I have no qualms about it you know what I mean but um, this is where it matters now um, you know what I mean I've worked hard and um, I'm ready to rectify it you know he, he got the decision in a, in a stand up fight MMA obviously has the, uh, yeah. the all round what do you think the difference in in, in this fight <laughs> it's a stupid question because it's an MMA fight versus a kickboxing fight, but yeah. what, what are going to be the differences in your approach to this being an MMA fight? Um, I don't think my approach is going to be too much different um, other than just my focus. My focus is going to be turned on for, for the whole time. However long the fight lasts, my focus is going to be there, you know, so um, whenever I've felt focused, I've gone out there and um, I've achieved the things I've wanted to achieve. So. Um, that, that's the main thing for me is just focus. All I need to do is focus, and, and, and I think um, I will achieve. Um, I want to. I want to get the stoppage. Um, I think it's. Um, is there a stoppage in that fight? Yeah, definitely. Um, 
I, I doubt very much Colin could stop me. Um, but I definitely feel as though, on the side of things, who, who would stop who? Um, it would lay more on my side, stopping him. Uh, Colin has a great reputation with Dana. He's mm -hmm. main evented a few. He's challenged for the title, and he's probably in the mix along yeah. with Stapes and, and a couple yeah. of others uh, for Mansoor. I went over Colin, put you in that position is 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 the Bama title something that you're setting your eyes on or is it one fight at a time um I have a a long-term plan which is like it's a rough long-term plan so um if it comes about it comes about you know the Bama titles in there in my long-term plan but um you have to look at one fight at a time you can't you can't look past them um, guys especially um good fighters and it's funny you're just talking about Colin there because in my head it just came up we've got a lot of similarities career-wise we're both runners up on the tough and we both fought for the titan and lost yeah. so <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a little bit funny like that we're kind of like um career mirror images a little bit fighting each other um i'm just better looking <laughs> <laughs> I, and i gotta say this is a this is a more exciting main event i take nothing away from michael brightman i take yeah. nothing away from some of collins opponents in the past this is a more exciting fight oh definitely uh, i'm not taking anything away from anyone he's fought um or anything like that but for um uk fans worldwide fans even i think this um bout could go on um any card in the world on it you know what i mean so i think it's going to be a good fight we've got two guys that really want it you know what I mean? I, and I think it's going to be a good fight. And funnily enough, you know what I was saying about um, myself being better looking than Colin? I say that, but I was at a wake the other day. And um, a girl says to me, oh, you know what? Um, I really like this guy. Um, oh, he's really freaky, though. And I'm trying to think of who she's talking about. I'm saying, oh, you mean WWE or something? You know about somebody from there? Like, no, no, he wears his clown mask and stuff. I said, you know about Colin, are you? He's like, yeah, oh, I think he's so handsome. Oh, I love I said, you know what? I'm fighting him in a couple of weeks. Goes, oh, I'll be rooting for him. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was funny though, it's all good. It's all good. You know, Bama have now got the Spike UK TV deal. Um, Spike TV in the yeah. States, so, you know, is, is huge. It's where, you know, the Ultimate Fighter got its starts, where a lot of, you know, 18 to 40 market. Now it's come to the UK. You're main eventing the inaugural Bama show that's going to appear on, mm -hmm. on Spike TV. One, is that any extra pressure? And two, is this a great opportunity to springboard you back into global consciousness? Um, it's a great opportunity for myself um, to springboard myself back into the um, global consciousness. But um, at the same time, it's not any extra added pressure because um, I don't really think about those things. All I want to do is go out there, get my stoppage, get my win. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that's it. That, 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 that's, that's my focus. My focus isn't about the pressures. My focus is I want that win. I want that stoppage. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm asking, I'm not taking anything away from Colin. I'm not, you know, and I know you can't look, you can't look past him, but, you know, when, should you get the win, how long before we can expect to see you back in the cage? And, you know, I, I'm guessing you'd like another, another well-ranked, well-named opponent. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I'll probably have a few days off or something like that. Um, let my body rest up and then I'll be back. I'll be back in the gym getting ready to fight again. So, um, you know what I mean? I just want to stay active. Um, that's my main thing. Like you seen last year, I, I stayed pretty active and I'm going to continue doing the same thing this year. Last question before we let you go. Um, and, and more of a statement really. Like, to the Bama fans, to Colin Fletcher, to Fletcher's fans, have you got a message about what kind of fight they can expect coming out of Andre Winner? The kind of fight um, you should expect is a very focused, disciplined, professional, aggressive Andre Winner. And to finish somewhere in those three rounds. Most definitely a finish in those three rounds. Andre, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very, thank you very much. Very much.